Well, I think, um, well, generally speaking, the uh, situation uh, in South Caucasus uh, after the war remains very tense. Uh, I mean, we didn't see uh, yet um, uh, a full-scale de-escalation of the situation. We don't see uh, a normal uh, bilateral or regional forum uh, and um, discussion going on between uh, former fighting sides. And um, uh, finally, um, as we know, there are hundreds of people still uh, uh, captive, um, still uh, uh, not released. And I think uh, for humanitarian reasons, uh, it's more than natural, I mean, to have uh, uh, those people being released as soon as possible, um, to return them to normal life. And uh, from my understanding, it would serve uh, as a great uh, reason for de-escalation as well. Generally, uh, I was not really happy with the role uh, European Union as such, as a big uh, um, influential um, international uh, player, uh, what role we, we had in, in that situation. I think we, uh, we simply remained too silent and um, doing too little, even to prevent this conflict from, uh, from happening. But once it happened, uh, I think we, we have to be, again, I mean, doing uh, our utmost in order to, uh, uh, to ease the situation and to de-escalate the situation and to bring uh, uh, a whole region to, norm to normality as soon as possible. So that's why uh, I wish, I mean, uh, the European Union uh, plays more proactive role, not just uh, giving uh, some... Uh, <clears throat> humanitarian assistance 